हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू फिजिकल साइंस डिजिटल क्लासेस महबूबाबाद माई सेल्फ नरेंद्र बाबू कोटला पीजीटी केमिस्ट्री टीएसएमएस महबूबाबाद टुडे रिफ्रैक्शन ऑफ लाइट एट करवुड सरफेसेस क्लास टेन पार्ट वन टुडे इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट रिफ्रैक्शन ऑफ लाइट इंट्रोडक्शन एफेक्ट्स ऑफ रिफ्रैक्शन loss of refraction of light coming to the refraction of light what is refraction of light till now we have seen reflection of light reflection of light means when an incident light ray incidence reflecting surface then it bouncing back into the same media but coming to the refraction of light so the change in direction of light when it passes from one medium to another obliquely is called refraction of light the change in direction of light when it passes from one medium to another obliquely is called refraction of light so another definition so the bending of light when it goes from one medium to another obliquely is called refraction of light so the bending of light when it goes from one medium to another obliquely is called refraction of light so actually light has to pass in straight line but when it is going from one medium to another medium so the bending takes place so this bending is generally called as refraction okay right the refraction of light takes place when light rays enter from one medium to another medium when light rays uh, so bouncing back into the same medium then reflection takes place when light rays passes from one medium to another medium then refraction takes place this is the difference between reflection and refraction in reflection is so incident light rays after reflection the bouncing back into the same medium but in refraction the light rays when they are going from one medium to another medium bending takes place okay so then refraction takes place that means refraction of light takes place when light rays enter from one medium to another medium for example refraction of light takes place when light enters from air to solid medium that means air medium to solid medium or solid medium to air medium so that means light rays are passing from one medium to another medium or when light rays enters from air to liquid or liquid to air or solid to liquid or liquid to solid medium then refraction takes place so the refraction or bending of light takes place at the boundary between the two media so where the refraction takes place means the refraction of light that takes place at the boundary between the two media between the two media where is the boundary and at that boundary the refraction takes place so let us take here so one glass slab if you observe this this is the glass slab okay this is the air media this is the glass media so there are two different medias are present that means a solid this is the air this is the solid so let us take a a is the incident light ray this incident light ray incidents at the boundary between the air and the glass and after incidenting actually light has to pass in straight line but after incidenting or when it is going from one media to another media see here the bending that takes place that's why we can consider it as so refraction the bent light ray we can so represent it with b so if you observe this a is the incident light ray so here it is the normal so the angle between incident ray to the normal is called angle of incidence the angle between the incident ray to the normal is called as angle of incidence this angle of incidence so we can represent it with i now this is the refracted ray okay this is the refracted ray 
the angle between refracted ray to the normal is called as angle of refraction. So this angle of refraction we can represent it with R. Angle of refraction we can represent it with R. In refraction of light the angle of refraction is usually not equal to the angle of incidence. In reflection the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of refraction. This is the case in reflection. But coming to the refraction, the angle of refraction is not equal to the angle of incidence. So that means the angle of refraction either smaller than the angle of incidence or greater than the angle of incidence. That means angle of incidence is not equal to the angle of refraction. But angle of incidence is greater than the angle of refraction or angle of incidence is less than the angle of refraction. What is the reason in bending of light when it goes from one medium to another medium? We will see here. So the refraction of light is due to the change in speed of light on going from one medium to another. When light goes from one medium to another medium so there will be a change in speed of that light so when there will be a change in speed of light then the bending of light takes place why the refraction takes place means the refraction of light is due to the change in the speed of light on going from one medium to another medium the speed of light is different in media that means the speed of light is different in uh, one media to the another media for example the speed of light in air is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meters per second whereas the speed of glass is 2 into 10 to the power of 8 meters per second if you observe here there is a change in both of these uh, air media to the glass media so that's why there is a change in these media that's why when light enters from one medium to another medium then bending or refraction takes place so the speed of light is more in air than the glass greater the difference in speed of light in the two media greater will be the amount of refraction of light so as the difference of speed of light in two media is more then more bending takes place or more refraction takes place a medium in which the speed of light is more is known as optically rarer medium what is rarer medium so the medium in which the speed of light is more is known as rarer medium okay so for example air air is optically rarer medium as compared to glass and water air is optically rarer medium as compared to glass and water a medium in which the speed of light is less is known as optically denser medium a medium in which the speed of light is less is known as optically denser medium for example glass is optically denser medium as compared to air and water glass is so denser medium as compared to air and water why because so compared to the air water and glass in glass the speed of light is less that's why it is denser compared to air and water the two rules which give the direction of bending of a ray of light when it goes from one medium to another medium. The two rules that gives the direction of bending of a ray of light when it goes from one medium to another. These two rules are when a ray of light goes from a rarer medium to a denser medium. When a ray of light goes from rarer medium to denser medium it bends towards the normal so when a light ray that is 
moving from or that is going from rarer medium to denser medium it bends towards the normal let us see this so air is the rarer medium glass is the denser medium light ray that is entering into the rarer medium to the denser medium let us take the light ray a a light ray incidenting at point of incidence and after incidenting so bending takes place if you observe so after refraction the refracted ray so the bending that it takes place towards the normal the refracted ray is bending towards the normal incident ray when it is moving from rarer medium to denser medium <coughs> after refraction so it moves towards the normal that means if you observe the angle of incidence and angle of refraction so angle of incidence is greater than the angle of refraction if you see angle of incidence is more than the angle of refraction second ray when a ray of light goes from a denser medium to a rarer medium it bends away from the normal when a ray of light goes from denser medium to a rarer medium it bends away from the normal imagine a light ray is going from denser medium glass to the air so let us take a is the incident light ray it is moving from so denser medium to the rarer medium into air see so this after bending this light ray so moved away from the normal this light ray moved away from the normal so this is the incident light ray <coughs> and this is the angle of incidence if you observe this angle of incidence okay so that is less than the angle of refraction angle of incidence is less than the angle of refraction in this case effects of refraction of light the refraction of light produces many effects which can be easily observed in our day to day life the refraction of light produces many effects which can be easily observed in our day to day life number 1 a stick or pencil held obliquely and partly immersed in water appears to be bent at the water surface an object placed under water appears to be raised a pool of water appears to be less deep than it actually is when a thick glass slab is placed over some printed matter the letters appear raised when viewed from the top a lemon kept in water in a glass tumbler appears to be bigger than its actual size when viewed from the sides last one the stars appear to twinkle on a clear night so all these effects are produced by the refraction of light when it passes from one medium to another let us go through the loss of refraction of light number 1 the incident ray the refracted ray and the normal at the point of incidence all lie in the same plane the incident ray refracted ray and the normal at the point of incidence all lie in the same plane this is the first law of refraction of light the second one the ratio of sin of angle of incidence to the sin of angle of refraction is constant for a given pair of media the ratio of sin of angle of incidence to the sin of angle of refraction is constant for a given pair of media that is sin of angle of incidence by sin of angle of refraction is equal to constant the ratio of sin of angle of incidence to the sin of angle of refraction is constant that means sin i by sin r is equal to n so this constant is called refractive index that means where n is called as 
refractive index. The value of constant n, that means sin i by sin r, for a ray of light passing from air into a particular medium is called the refractive index of that medium. The value of constant n for a ray of light passing from air into a particular medium is called the refractive index of that medium. The refractive index is usually denoted by the symbol small n. So sin i by sin r is equal to n where n is equal to refractive index. n has no units. A substance having higher refractive index is optically denser than another substance having lower refractive index. Let us take two substances, two mediums. So the substance out of these two, the substance which is having more refractive index, so that substance we can consider as a denser medium. The substance which is having lower refractive index, we can consider it as rarer medium simply. So higher the refractive index of a substance, more it will change the direction of a beam of light passing through it. Means higher the refractive index of a substance, then more refraction takes place or more bending takes place. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.